Okay. And then next up here, zero tick generators. Okay, so here is going to be the explanation and on why the right side is one game tick slower than this. And you can see right here, this piston, when I, okay, let me just uh, flick this lever. When this, uh, when I flick this lever, this piston, both of them will extend at the same time. Will update at the same time like there. Yes, um, just pretend that these high five right there. And when I retract, when I turn this off, something interesting will happen. This will update like that at the same time. And then this will update at the same time again. But you can see right there, that arrived here one game tick faster. Just don't mind that double pulse. And again, because this piston will retract instantly when this retracts, and then one tick later, this will update this. And because it is um, being one tick, that means the block will arrive here one redstone tick faster than um, one game tick faster uh, than this. And because this is being 1.5 redstone tick, that means the piston will fully extend, and the full and the fully extended piston will take 1.5 redstone ticks until the block finishes moving. And that means that it will arrive here one game tick later than there. So that's why um, this side is one game tick slower than this, but it doesn't actually matter. And if you open it with, with, if you like view it from the actual perspective, you won't actually see that this extends or arrives a little bit later because it's super fast. And then now zero tick generators. This is probably um, one of the things that you know. You, be, I'm sure that you guys know this type of zero tick generator, but I'm not sure that every one of you knows how this works. So you can see right here, oh, that only that piston extends, like that is um, somewhat crazy, and I bet that you don't understand how to how this actually works. But this thing is actually a little bit, um, what is it, a little bit locational, because if I do this, it will not work, the bottom will not work, and if I do that, it will actually work. So, the explanation. So, what is happening? This tick pulse will also will extend this. And because this observer will always update when this piston starts being powered. So, okay, let me just disclaimer. This is my explanation. I don't know if this is the real one, but this is just the way I look, okay? This is just the way I see. So from my perspective, I think this observer will always check if it's going to be moved by a piston. And will actually check if the piston is powered or not. So as soon as this block is powered, um, this piston right here will act as a delayer because one thing that you need to know every piston movements will add one micro tick okay remember one micro tick that's all you need to remember one micro tick at two redstone ticks this will already power this that means that this observer will already be ex um, be updating because this piston will extend and then this will extend two ticks um, this will update here two ticks later and when this arrives here the pulse over there will already turn off because it's a two tick pulse and then you might be thinking that two minus two equals zero and and therefore you got zero ticks but it don't act that's not actually worked this piston because it's being budded and it's updated by one single piston it will up it will add one micro tick later it will add and that means that it will update one micro tick later so at zero micro ticks or instantly this piston will power okay and because this piston is budded again same as this one that means this will update one micro tick later okay but one micro tick later this piston is updating this piston to retract and this piston is updating this thing to extend but because this is retracting that means that it will retract as soon as possible that means that that one will not be scheduled or will not extend and instead if we have two again this observer will just not going to be thinking about this so i think so this will start extending instantly and at two again this will just already be here oops this will already be here like this like there it will already be there okay move the particles it will already be here and then at the first at zero micro ticks or instantly this will update this this will power this one and then one micro tick later this piston would update that piston and this piston will update this piston to extend okay and then at the second micro tick 
this piston will update this piston to a track and this observer therefore will stay for one micro tick longer. And the shortest amount of micro tick to even to zero tick a piston is one micro tick long. That means from zero to two micro ticks we are powering this piston. That means this piston receives a two micro tick long to zero tick pulse. And down here because it is updated one micro tick later, it will power from one micro tick until two micro ticks. And then this will retract. So that is just the explanation. Um, it is actually through true, I guess. But that's just the way I think because um, this I don't think there's other um, like a logical explanation. But I feel like that was good enough. So um, this is your tick chain. So you can see that the bottom right here. You can see. Let me I do this. This two will retract at this exact same tick, and you might not thinking that how will you achieve that, and that is again because of block event delays. So that's just how powerful a block event delay is. And in reality, we are we are but powering this again, and we are updating with two pistons. But I'm just going to be using this as the first updater and this as the second updater. So just do not mind this; it does actually work. So again, um, this will. Um, retract in this will take one tick to extend and this will also take one tick to extend This will take one tick to retract and this will retract instantly and then this piston because and then this piston because it's budded That means when this pulse turns off that means it would stay here for um, Because we have two um, pistons again. This will stay extended for two micro ticks longer and that is actually enough for this observer to update before this actually retracts. So that means when this attack here, this two micro ticks later, basically this will start retracting. Like so. Like that. So if you want to have an in-depth look on how this works, make sure that this thing right this observer is like here, because if it's not if it's not, it's not going to give a zero tick. You can see right here. This two piston heads will extend at the same time, but this will retract. This will stay here for two micro ticks longer, and then un until it actually retracts. You can't actually visually see like micro tick delays because they literally happen in a very, very, very short time, short amount of time. But it is actually there, and it's actually true, and it's actually real, and it actually um, exists in the game. So that's just how this thing works, like that. So that's just how powerful micro ticks are in piston doors like this. And then next up, we have this thing right here. When I click this note block, something interesting will happen. Oh, you can see that only these two pistons are extended and these ones are not. And that's actually because of this, because um, again, we need to remember that um, this observer will turn on two ticks after this thing is powered. That means this will turn on, this will, this is part at one, it will turn on at three. It was one, two, three, that's perfect. And again, because we have this piston budded, that means it will be updated one micro tick later. Again, this is actually works the same as that. So at zero, it will update instantly, and at the first micro tick, this will update that, and that will update this. But at the first micro tick, this will also extend back down. So that means that piston will not power. So what we need to do is that we need to have two updater pistons. And that's why we use two updater pistons, because again, Zero micro ticks instantly update this two because you can see this block will be over here. This will be here. That means this two pistons are budded. And then at the first micro tick, this will just uh, um, what is it? Will update. This will update this. This will update. This will update this. And at the second micro tick, this will update that. And this um, from zero, from one to two micro ticks, that will be able to power this two piston like that. And then now the slider, how the slider actually works. So you can see that this actually extends. I don't actually have any, um, what is it, uh, explanations on how this slider works. But again, I'm just going to explain some things. So I think um, the way this works, let me just, let me just extend this thing like this. When I flick this lever, when I just like this, um, like this. So this will instantly retract back, back in, and then 
when this as soon as this arrives here that will also arrive there and that will it will zero tick this piston right here zero tick this piston right here and because this piston retracting that means it will be processed as um, before this piston extending so when this piston when this button block arrives here when this extend this piston would still would already um, be stationary but because this piston sees this block um, and this block I, I, I don't actually know how this works but I think because this piston sees that this block is still moving and this will not um, be scheduling another block event and if you're wondering how we actually like lock this repeater this um, updater piston down in the opening we basically have this so basically we're just moving this in the actually in the actual door we just move this away so that um, it doesn't actually update this and one thing to know that I'm, I'm sure that you probably have known but redstone dust can actually update yeah this can actually update what is it uh, uh pistons so yeah and so some unfortunate things happened I just I just don't feel like to want to tell you so the unfortunate thing happened and again this will this will power down here and this piston will not be updated and dusts can actually power update pistons like this so a dust changing shape a dust changing um, state will actually update pistons so therefore this will actually retract like that so then again and dusts can actually update pistons from one block away so this thing right here would actually use this to so update that one so that piston as well so this is just a side note so you can like probably update pistons and you need to be aware because if you want to have like a bodied piston for example and you don't want it to be updated just do not have a dust like one block away from it and um, one of the requirements that it has to be in line in level right here and the next step how we actually zero tick and like have like retract this and then retract this at the same time when I do this, this will actually um, let me just disable this because it's not this part just yet. Just reset the slider. Like that. So you can see right here when I click this, this will retract and that will also retract back. And this will extend this again. But that will not be a matter. And the way it works, I just I believe just it's just a simple, you know, block event delay thing. I'm sure that you understand. And the way we're going to get there again, and this is actually just two observers because it needs to happen a little bit late. And then a 3 tick repeater right here, and then just a dust over here. Of course, in the actual door, it's not like this, but this is just a setup to show you guys that, like this. So, this will just do that. So, it will. Um, push this piston in as soon as that blocks come back uh, Like there So let me just have it in slow motion You can see right here that will push and that will drag at the same time And then as soon as this arrives there It will actually extend again Although of course because we are using a slower TPS it will it would not be fast so like there so it's not something special really special it's just it's just like that and then this thing right here the redirection boot and you can see in the sequence right here this piston would actually arrive here and then that block will arrive here later and the way this works is that you're using a redirection boot again right here so right here I have um, a Lugia 7 zero tick chain that he uses in his uh, 1.55 seconds opening 540 blocks 55 piston door I will link this to that video and then this will actually generate two zero tick pulses um, instantly and then two micro ticks later okay so what we will need and when I click this node block and some interesting thing will happen again you can see right there this block actually um, like retracted very very fast like so this piston is budded that means when I do this they will instantly retract and it will instantly hit 
instantly at the earliest possible microtech at the zero microticks. So when I just slow the game really really slow, we can see right this. This will instantly arrive here. Boom. This will instantly arrive here. And then this piston will retract. And oh, of course I haven't I haven't depowered that lever for some dumb reason. Right there. Again, sorry for that. This will instantly arrive here, and this will instantly retract. Like boom! You can see that this block teleports here again, but yeah, because this retracts is zero microdex, and this extends at a uh, um, over here. You can see one microtick layer. You can actually chain like that. So, with a redirection, but no matter how fast the piston extends it will always retract when it receives a block update just like this like there. so you don't have to worry about anything so just use the redirection button if you want to have like this person needs to retract as soon as possible just use that it's actually really useful and finally the top and how this works so this thing right here because it's button again you can see right this this will instantly extend you can see right here that pulse right here was already turning off, and this actually turns off right there. But again, because it is being bodied, it will retract with that thing when this thing actually finishes retracting. So there's nothing really special about this because it literally just a re um, a bodied piston. And it's actually um, good to mention that I actually got this thing right here to set up from Lomendo, from Lomendo's. Um, what is it? Uh, um, 848 58 blocks 5 5 piston door that opens in 1.05 seconds I'm going to link him again at the moment where he showed this and oh yes when the, he moment, the moment he showed that and finally this thing right here is actually founded by him again I actually copied it, copied it from him and yeah I will link um, to the video when he explained and showed that this actually works so I believe that's everything needs to be shown. Hopefully this um, explanation video will be hopeful, will be helpful. It's, it was quite long because there's quite a lot to be explained. And I'm not going to be explaining any of the bottom retraction, uh, bottom closing because it's completely again garbage and stupid. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Bye.